So the first thing you'll need, uh, we'll have to go to the web to get a couple things. And the first thing is called Android Studio. Okay, here we go. So download Android Studio and SDK Tools. And download this, install it, and click that, take to here, accept the terms, um, download, download it, and uh, go through the uh, installation process. What you're going to do is go down, open your folder, or, uh, when, or explore, and uh, then I go into the uh, into the program files. So we go into here and um, write it down to this folder right here called Android. And then Android SDK, and then to Platform Tools. Okay, so this is one of the folders we need. All right, so this is this is the uh, this is the software we're going to need from Android SDK. That's why we downloaded the Android Studio and SDK. So um, one more. the next thing we're going to need to grab is um, the actual image that we're going to uh, flash because um, this right here will just it will do the flashing and the and the and the programming, so to so to speak. Um, but we need actual information to put on the device. So for that, you look for. So you're gonna look for factory images for Nexus Nexus devices. There it is. All right, and right here that Android. Uh, I mean the developers.google.com is what you're looking for. All right, and this page will have all um, Nexus devices. It will have all the the uh, factory images from Google. Scroll down and find our device. Let's see. Right. Okay, this is it. My device is the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Here are the versions of Android. It's running 5.1.1 right now, but we want to downgrade. Actually, it's running 5.1. Okay, so what we want to downgrade to 4.4.4 .4 for a more stable experience. So what we do is we click the link right there, download link, and we're going to download this zipped uh, file. And then um, once that's done, we go to downloads, and it will be right here. Um, it was right here, but I moved it because I downloaded these images some time ago. So. My directory is actually over here. Flash tools. All right, so here it is. We're looking for the for this particular device, the Nexus 7 2012 Wi-Fi. It's a N A K A S I K T U 84. K T U 84 P is the is a kick. Um, the code for the, this particular um, image. So, um, you extract the files okay. and it's extracting it to, yeah, to my directory there. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go into that folder and this is our this is part A and this is part B, and so what we're going to do is we are going to drag all these files and copy them to here. Well, not drag them, we're going to copy them. Uh, before I did it the other way, but that actually, actually, after I finished flashing the device, I saw some issues because my original folder, the Android SDK, was all dirty. It had all the files from a specific um, image and so when I wanted to import the files from a different image to to uh, put them together with these files because both the files need to be in the same folder um, to talk to each other so to speak after you've done that you're going to hit shift and right click and press open command window here 
Alright, so now you're going to plug your device in. Make sure it's all plugged in. Okay. Make sure it's plugged into your computer. And then you're going to perform a check to make sure that the software is reading um, the device. And so what you're going to do is you're going to input ADB space devices. And boom, there it is. And that's that's the device right there. And when I first did that, I was like, wait a minute, how do you know that's my device? But when you think about it, it's like, oh wait, what other device would be, this is a this is an Android tool, so um, the only device that would be able to communicate with my with the the software here would be would be an Android device. So if it shows any device at all plugged in right here, you're good. Okay. So the next step is we're going to input ADB reboot bootloader. And what this will do is it will reboot the device into the bootloader. Okay, so we hit this and boom. The device goes and reboots into the bootloader. Alright, the next thing we have to do is type type fast boot OEM Unlock. Okay, and this will unlock the boot um, loader. Now, um, when we hit this, it's going to say, "Do you want to unlock the boot loader?" And there's a little warning here. It says, um, "You know, if you're installing a custom operating system, um, it's it's not. It won't be as stable." possibly as the operating system currently on here because it hasn't been put under as much testing and it hasn't been proven. Stuff like that. So, um, also as a warning, if you unlock the bootloader and you mess up your device with whatever you're sticking on here, whatever um, custom bootloader or whatever you're putting on here, um, you, will, you may avoid your warranty. But, we don't have to worry about that because this is a um, a factory image from from Google. So, okay, so you navigate up and down using the uh, arrows. It says right here, volume up and down buttons. Just select yes or no, then press the power button to continue. And we're going to say yes. Okay, so it's going to go through a process right here. Let me zoom in. It's going through a process right now. You can kind of see that on the computer screen, I guess. So it's done. Everything's wiped. And it's ready for for us to... And the, and the bootloader is unlocked. Which means that we can now, from our computer, we can install... Which means we can install an image from our computer. So, um, if you look in your folder, you'll see it says... Um, it has several files, and one of them is called Flash All. What Flash All does is it installs the software like this image here which is the actual image file onto our device here um, and so all I have to do is dash so flash all And hit enter. Okay, so here it goes. It's restarting. Um, failed. Okay. Oh, okay. No, no, it's working. It's working. Alright, so for some reason I will probably um, figure this out later, but for some reason this this software always goes uh, through this 
this process where it says that something failed or that the um, let's see that the writing the bootloader failed and then it will say archive does not contain boot dot sig archive does not contain and then all of a sudden it starts doing its thing and so it can be a little confusing but don't don't get confused by it it is, it is doing its thing once you hit the flash all just let it do its thing Okay, so now it's booting up again, and the computer says, on the computer, the program says, uh, finish total time, 162 second, point, uh, 0.154 seconds, press any key to exit. Okay, and we have the KitKat loading screen, so that worked. Okay, so the one other thing is, after you, um, after you install a new image, everything has been reset so um, you're gonna have to go into this uh, go to about tablet that build number until it says you're now a developer um, and then developer options and um, put USB debugging back on there we go alright we're back in business now that we're back in business we have to do one more thing, which is yes. <clears throat> okay. So we are going to type. Okay, we need to open that up again. I'll automatically close when it's done. But so one more time, shift, click, and up here we go. And we D B D. <laughs> Place. There we are. And then go to ADB. Re boot. Boot loader. There we go. And then lock the boot loader again. Okay, so. Type fast. Oh. Fast, uh, fast boot OEM lock. Enter. And it says bootloader is now locked. Finished. And just check. We look physically on the device. If we zoom in here, it says right there. Lock state locked. So the fat I mean, so the uh, bootloader is locked. Then what we'll do on the device is we'll just go cover and power off. Stop. And you notice the lock that was there before has disappeared. And so that's it. Wait for the device to boot up. And you can keep this file just in case. This one too. That's it.